major push for self-reliance, under the Atmanur Bharat Initiative, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL is set to select a global technology partner for co-developing an advanced electronic warfare suite for its light combat helicopter, Pratchhand. HAL is currently evaluating proposals from four major defense firms, Saab from Sweden, Electronica of Italy, Hensolt from Germany, and Elbit Systems of Israel. The chosen partner will help integrate next-gen radar, laser and missile warning receivers, along with countermeasure dispensers. This suite will enhance the LCH's survivability by detecting and neutralizing threats in real time. Unlike direct imports, this partnership aims at critical technology transfer and domestic capability building. Given Prachan's proven high-altitude performance, in regions like Ladakh and Sayachin, the EW upgrade is expected to significantly strengthen India's frontline combat helicopter fleet. India is set to bolster its maritime power with the induction of six indigenous Project 17A stealth frigates by August, September 2026. Built under a rupees 45,000 crore initiative, the ships, Udagiri, Teragiri, Mahindragiri, Himgiri, Dunagiri, and Vindhyari follow the Shivalit class and reflect India's drive for naval self-reliance. The first vessel, INS Nogari, was commissioned in January 2025, with Udagiri delivered in July and expected to be commissioned in August. Teragiri and Mahindragiri are on track for commissioning by early 2026, with the rest to follow by mid to late 2026. Constructed by MDL and GRSE, these frigates boast 75% indigenous content, modern stealth design, and are armed with BrahMos and MRSAM systems. Their induction comes amid China's growing presence in the Indian Ocean, positioning India as a leading maritime force. India has accelerated the delivery of Israel's advanced X-Guard decoy system to bolster the survivability of its Rafale jets, following its reported success during Operation Sindor in May 2025. The system, developed by Rafael, uses a fiber-optic towed decoy that emits AI-driven jamming signals to confuse advanced radar-guided missiles. Indian authorities decided to fast-track the procurement after it reportedly thwarted Pakistani PL-15E missiles and misled Chinese radars during recent air operations. The X-Guard's rapid deployment, 360-degree protection, and reusability make it a critical electronic warfare asset. However, delivery faces delays due to Israeli supply chain disruptions amid the ongoing West Asian conflict. Despite production challenges, India remains committed to enhancing its Rafale fleet's survivability, reflecting a strategic shift toward advanced, AI-powered aerial defense and deeper Indo-Israeli defense collaboration. Officials reported that the security situation across Jammu's hinterland and border areas remains stable, with forces maintaining dominance over high-altitude zones through continuous operations. Between 40 to 50 terrorists, mostly Pakistani nationals, are believed to be active south of the Pir Punjal range, prompting multi-layered counter-terror measures. Forces have intensified night surveillance and anti-drone strategies in key districts such as Rajuri, Punch, Kishtwar, Dota, and Uthmapur. A revised approach, focusing on denying militants' night movement and regrouping opportunities, has yielded operational advantages. A recent encounter in Kishtwar's Chatru area confirmed militants' unease as they were ambushed by Indian troops holding strategic heights. Authorities stated that infiltration routes have been sealed, ground intelligence is guiding operations, and forces remain fully alert amid reports of terrorists being staged near the border. India's Zorwar light tank project is progressing rapidly, with the second prototype expected by September 2025. Jointly developed by DRDO and LNT, the 25-ton tank is tailored for high-altitude warfare, especially along the LAC with China. Following successful trials of the first prototype, 
tested from Rajasthan's deserts to Ladakh's sub-zero terrain. The second model will feature improved suspension, cooling systems, and advanced sensors. Armed with a 105mm gun capable of firing ATGMs, and fitted with modular armor and an active protection system, Zorwar promises high survivability. Powered by a 760 horsepower Cummins engine, with plans to upgrade to a 1000 horsepower ACE engine, the tank balances agility and firepower. Army user trials begin August 2025, with 59 units initially ordered and full induction aimed for 2027. India and the US are advancing rapidly toward a key interim trade deal that could shield India from the harsh tariffs America is imposing on other nations. While President Trump has announced 50% tariffs on Mexico and 35% on Canada, India is likely to face a significantly lower tariff, below 20%. This would position India more favorably than its regional peers, as no other country under current tariff plans has been offered such leniency. Bloomberg reports a draft deal is ready, giving India time to resolve outstanding issues before a comprehensive agreement. Trump's silence on India amid aggressive tariff announcements to 20-plus countries signals that negotiations are progressing positively. The deal could grant India both breathing room and a strategic trade edge. With final terms still evolving, this development may enhance India's global economic standing and strengthen its long-term trade partnership with the U.S. India is nearing a major technological milestone as DRDO's indigenously developed hyperspectral payload enters the final integration phase with an ISRO satellite. This advanced Earth observation sensor, designed to capture detailed spectral data across numerous bands, is expected to significantly enhance India's capabilities in sectors like agriculture, mineral mapping, disaster response, and national security. Officials highlighted that the joint DRDO-SRO project not only reduces foreign dependency, but also boosts India's strategic edge in space-based surveillance. Following integration, the payload will undergo critical testing for compatibility and performance. Once operational, it will provide high-resolution multiband imagery tailored for both civilian and military needs. The project builds on lessons from earlier missions like HiSES offering superior spectral resolution and data fidelity, and marks a key step toward India's goal of technological self-reliance in space and defense. India has taken a major step in modernizing its Su-30 MKI fighter fleet, as the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, initiated a comprehensive infrastructure program to support the integration of indigenous electronic warfare systems. Led by DRDO's CASTIC, advanced hardware simulators and avionics testing rigs are being developed to replicate real-world combat scenarios, aiding in the testing and validation of EW components before installation. These efforts are central to the Super Sukhoi upgrade plan, which aims to modernize 84 Su-30 MKIs with advanced sensors, avionics, and mission systems. The EW suite, featuring components like Yoda jammer pods and Anadra radar warning receivers, is under phased development and procurement. Designed to enhance threat detection, jamming, and countermeasure deployment, the suite will be integrated with India's own Astra missiles and Virupaksh ASA radar. A key priority is compatibility with line-replaceable units, LRUs, ensuring easy maintenance and long-term operability. The EW suite's development spans 32 months, followed by extensive simulator-based testing, alongside a new 64-bit mission computer and robust quality assurance protocols are being implemented. With over 78% indigenous content targeted, the project strengthens India's Atmanirbhar Bharat vision and extends Su-30 MKI's operational relevance to at least 2055. On July 11, 2025, India achieved a major milestone in air-to-air -air missile technology as the Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, 
and the Indian Air Force successfully conducted flight tests of the Astra Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile equipped with an indigenous radio frequency seeker. The tests were conducted off the coast of Odessa using a Su-30 MKI platform. Two missile launches were carried out under varying conditions against high-speed unmanned aerial targets. Both targets were destroyed with high precision, confirming the reliability and accuracy of the Astra system. The performance of all subsystems, including the DRDO-developed RF seeker, met expectations. Flight data from the integrated test range at Chandipur validated the results. The Astra missile, with a range of over 100 kilometers, features advanced guidance and navigation systems. Its successful integration with an indigenous seeker marks a major advancement in India's self-reliance efforts in critical defense technologies. Over 50 public and private sector industries, including Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, contributed to the program. The defense minister and DRDO chairman praised the teams for the achievement, calling it a landmark in India's indigenous defense capabilities. India's quest for an indigenous engine for its next-generation advanced medium combat aircraft, AMCA, has reached a decisive stage, with European firms Rolls-Royce and Safran submitting competitive proposals. Both companies have offered cutting-edge variable cycle engine technology and, crucially, agreed to 100% transfer of technology and intellectual property rights. Key demands to ensure India's strategic autonomy. The engine, to be co-developed with DRDO's Gas Turbine Research Establishment, GTRE, will produce between 110 to 130 kilonewton of thrust and is intended for the AMCA MK2 variant, expected to fly by 2029 to 30 and enter service by 2035. The VC will allow the jet to shift between high efficiency and high thrust modes in real time, supporting supercruise, low infrared signature, and advanced combat systems. France's Safran revised its initial offer, originally seeking 50% IPR, to match India's full ownership demand, while proposing a brand new engine also suited for the TED BF. Meanwhile, Rolls-Royce has proposed an India-specific engine leveraging technologies from the GCAP program. The final $4.5 to $5 billion decision, overseen by the Prime Minister's office, will set the course for India's aerospace future with production likely to begin by 2032 to 33 and positioning India as a global aero engine hub. That's all from YKS team for now. Hope you liked today's video. Please subscribe our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.